Tesla may seem slow with electric vehicles, but when it comes to their humanoid robot Optimus, they're making headway no one can match. At the recent WE Robot event, we saw undeniable proof that Optimus is nearly ready to reach consumers, or better yet, millions of us ready to start pre-ordering. Imagine a robot that performs everyday tasks, communicates effortlessly, and obeys commands, all for just $20,000. Tempting, right? But Optimus's impressive abilities are raising big questions. Is it really autonomous, or is there more going on behind the scenes? Stick around to uncover the real story behind Tesla's latest robotic breakthrough. Be nice to the Optimus robots. So you'll be able to walk right up to them, and um, they'll serve drinks at the bar. Treat Optimus nicely. It might just be serving drinks at your local bar one day. The Optimus robot didn't just make an appearance. It stole the spotlight at Tesla's Robo Taxi launch. While the event was intended to showcase Tesla's latest autonomous taxi, Elon shocked the crowd by unveiling a group of lifelike humanoid robots. Just imagine seeing 50 of these machines and two brand new self-driving cars lined up for all to experience firsthand. It's safe to say the entire audience was floored. These robots weren't just impressive, they surpassed everyone's expectations. Although only 50 robots were on display, Tesla likely has close to 100 in the works, and they're moving fast. By leveraging advanced technology already present in Tesla's EVs, think batteries, motors, power electronics, and cutting edge AI, Tesla didn't have to build Optimus from scratch. Elon Musk confirmed that nearly everything Tesla has developed for its vehicles, from batteries to the AI powerhouse of its onboard computers, is now fueling their progress with Optimus. This synergy means they're on track to produce thousands of units by next year. Imagine every car innovation Tesla has ever made now applied to bring these robots to life. So everything we've developed for our cars, the batteries, power electronics, uh, the advanced motors, gearboxes, the, the software, the, uh, the AI inference computer, it all actually applies to a humanoid robot. Even the Cybertruck, RoboTaxi, and upcoming RoboVan, according to Elon, are considered robots on wheels. But Optimus, with arms and legs, is something else entirely. It's designed to operate in human spaces, climbing stairs, using tools, interacting with objects, making it uniquely functional. So far, we've only seen Optimus perform simple tasks, like folding shirts, holding eggs, or sorting through batteries. Many people are eager to see Optimus go beyond these basics and showcase its potential in real-world practical situations. This latest WE robot event, however, was the first time people could actually interact with Optimus outside a controlled setting. Tesla even brought a prototype to an exhibition in China, though it was kept behind glass. In contrast, this public event was a high-stakes move, showcasing Optimus Gen 2 in front of Tesla fans, investors, and guests. Bringing a robot still in development to the real world, especially one that's not fully refined, comes with risks. Tesla is also vigilant about competitors copying their technology. With so much on the line, Tesla's ambitious showcase of Optimus could very well set the stage for a whole new era in robotics. Exposing Optimus's tech up close was a bold move, especially since competitors could easily scrutinize its design and functionality. Yet, leaving Optimus out of the way robot event would have been an even bigger mistake. Despite more work ahead, Tesla showcased some astonishing abilities of their humanoid robots, scenes that seem straight out of sci-fi. Remember Terminator 2? Now, imagine a robot that can open your car trunk, carry groceries to your kitchen, tidy up, accept Amazon packages, and pour water for guests. Tesla's Optimus could soon be handling all of that and more, making our daily routines feel effortless and futuristic. As Elon Musk always says, the future looks like the future.
And the demand for Optimus bots could be massive, with Musk predicting that nearly everyone will want an Optimus buddy. Because I think everyone of the 8 billion people of Earth, I think everyone's going to want their Optimus buddy. And there's going to be some, maybe two. Is Tesla being too ambitious? We don't think so. Even as competitors from Unitary Robotics and Boston Dynamics try to get in the game, Tesla's already three generations ahead, with units in the hands of real customers. Sure, Unitary Robotics teased a $16,000 robot, but it's still in the promo phase. And while Boston Dynamics has been a robotics leader for years, they've never fully released their Atlas robot. Tesla, though initially an EV manufacturer, has achieved three robot generations in under three years and is on track to make them widely available. That's a serious advantage, beyond even the technical specs. One observation, however, is that Optimus's speed is a bit conservative. During the WEI event, each robot moves steadily but carefully through the crowd. Currently, they max out at 2 miles per hour, with a target of 5 miles per hour in future updates. Tesla is focused on gradual improvements, so they're holding off sales until next year. After all, no one wants a robot that's slower than, say, a certain US president. But the real question is this, how autonomous is Optimus? Even after the event, speculation lingered about whether these robots were truly self-operating or receiving remote assistance. Some reports and posts on X, formerly Twitter, suggest that Optimus may still need human control for complex tasks, like picking up a cup or working a coffee machine. Influencer Robert Scoble even claimed that Optimus's responses at the event were directed by Tesla's team rather than full AI. While Optimus can perform simple movements autonomously, it appears human assistance is still required for more complex interactions. It's a reality check. Tesla's Optimus may be groundbreaking, but it's still evolving, one update at a time. And as long as Optimus progresses at this pace, we're getting closer to a future where sci-fi dreams become everyday life. What do you think? Are you ready to see a Tesla bot in every home? Or do you believe we're still a few upgrades away from that reality? While Optimus's walking abilities rely on its own AI, there's compelling evidence that it doesn't yet think for itself. For instance, robots had different voices and their responses were near instantaneous, complete with matching gestures. According to insiders, Optimus wasn't originally slated to be at the CyberAbs launch. Elon reportedly added them to the program just three weeks prior. This last minute decision left Tesla with limited time to fully activate Optimus's software, making remote operation a necessity. Bringing Optimus to such a major event, even with unfinished features, was a risky call by Tesla. While it showcased bold innovation, there was also a chance of disappointing attendees if Optimus malfunctioned. That risk may not have gone unnoticed. Tesla's stock dropped 11% following the event, hinting that investors picked up on some of Optimus's limitations. But it wasn't just about the bots. Elon Musk's silence on short-term revenue plans for the robo-taxi and updates on FSD likely played a role as well. Despite this, most people still find Optimus impressive, even knowing it's still partly controlled by human operators. For a prototype, it's already drawing excitement for what the future holds. In related news, let's shift to the eagerly awaited Cybercar. Tesla shareholder and longtime enthusiast Matthew Donegan Ryan recently shared insights from Tesla's top execs following the Y Robot event. Tesla's design chief, Franz von Holzhausen, and VP of Vehicle Engineering, Lars Moravi, reportedly hinted that the Cybercar will be fully autonomous, with no steering wheel or pedals, reaffirming Tesla's commitment to a robo-taxi future. This design decision could help differentiate the Cybercar from Tesla's Model 3. And why? The company's best sellers, by betting big on a new mode of transport altogether. 
As for production, the Cybercar will first roll out from Giga, Texas, with plans to eventually expand to other factories. Notably, it will share several components with the Model 3 and Y, which should make scaling production easier and faster. It will also include a front bumper camera like the Cybertrucks, and the interior will be sleek with only three buttons, two for the windows and one dome light switch. Everything else, from navigation to entertainment, will be controlled through the touchscreen. Unlike the Cybertruck's steel frame, the Cybercar's frame will use lighter materials to keep costs down, and it will feature an inductive charging system, requiring fewer resources and cables. Now, back to Optimus, Elon's vision for the bot's affordability truly stole the spotlight. He suggested that with time, Optimus's price could drop to $20,000, $30,000, potentially making it cheaper than many cars. This would position Optimus not only as a cutting edge product, but as a mainstream game changer for household tasks and everyday activities. Imagine shop owners employing Optimus to handle stock or assist customers, potentially recouping their investment in just a year and a half. If priced at $20K, Optimus could quickly become indispensable in countless homes and businesses. It's no wonder so many people are eagerly awaiting the Tesla bot's next steps. Imagine a future where every home has an Optimus robot, a tireless assistant handling everything from mowing the lawn to grocery shopping, picking up the kids, and even keeping you company. Elon Musk envisions Optimus as a true multitasker, able to take on nearly any task humans ask of it, from teaching and babysitting to walking the dog, serving drinks, or simply being a companion. This vision paints a future where AI and robotics don't just perform specific jobs, but adapt to our daily lives, capable of responding to our needs with near human understanding. However, achieving this future depends on advancements in AI and machine learning, especially in enabling robots to learn and respond to complex situations autonomously. Elon also sees Optimus becoming part of our social lives. Picture a robot helping out at gatherings, serving drinks, and mingling in everyday spaces. This shift could redefine our understanding of robots, transitioning them from tools to social participants. A significant cultural leap toward a world where humans and robots work and interact side by side. Of course, the challenge isn't just technological, but societal, as we'll have to embrace humanoid robots as part of daily life. Elon also touched on the potential economic and social impact, noting how Optimus could reshape labor and service industries, creating the need for new societal adjustments as robots handle more tasks. He believes Optimus could one day serve nearly every one of the 8 billion people on Earth, an ambitious vision with profound implications for manufacturing, technology, and society. Despite his optimism, Elon acknowledges the risks AI can bring, especially as it edges towards superintelligence. Still, he's confident that with the right approach, humanity has about an 80% chance of achieving a positive outcome. His concern for the ethical and safety aspects of AI is clear, even as he pushes forward with groundbreaking robotic systems. To sum it up, Elon's vision for Optimus is grand and bold with the potential to change how we live and work. From harnessing advanced tech to becoming a mainstream fixture, Optimus represents both a feat of engineering and a cultural milestone. Yet for this vision to come true, Tesla must overcome substantial technological and ethical challenges. The presence of robots like Optimus could transform how we feel and behave. For some, having a robot to manage household tasks and assist at work is a comfort, reducing stress by offloading responsibilities. But others may feel wary or even anxious about sharing space with a robot, worrying about privacy or job security. Research suggests people feel more at ease with robots that resemble humans, which is why Optimus's design prioritizes a friendly, approachable look. Tesla has worked to create a design that's inviting, even kid-friendly. 
The goal is to make people comfortable and encourage natural interactions. At the Way Robot event, the crowd's excitement around Optimus was a testament to this approach, as attendees felt drawn to its lifelike movements and engaging behavior. The fact that Optimus is still partly human-assisted underscores that fully autonomous robots are not yet here, but this doesn't diminish their potential. We're likely only a year or two away from robots like Optimus reaching new levels of autonomy, opening up countless everyday applications. This reality prompts us all to think about and prepare for the profound changes that robots and AI will bring. And now we want to hear from you. What do you think of Optimus as it was presented at the recent event? Does its remote controlled functionality change your view? Or are you still excited about its potential? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for tuning into Tesla Car World. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the latest in Tesla and electric vehicles, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. We appreciate your support and can't wait to see you back here soon. Take care, stay safe, and God bless.